Good morning, Minecraft. It is the 5th day of September 2013. Alright, so it's uh, been a day uh, for you guys, but it's been much longer in MC Gamer time because I've been working on getting this entire wall, uh, the, the, the frame here, put, put around, and I just finished. Um, and it is looking pretty darn good. Uh, today I'm going to be starting to put in some of the cobblestone wall pieces, uh, like so, while I am chatting with you guys, the audience. Alright, so I want to talk about uh, the newest Minecraft updates. Because as you know, Good Morning Minecraft has been on a, you know, the hiatus. But I, so I am actually behind on talking about Minecraft updates. And uh, the biggest one, of course, was 1.6. Um, but I want to talk uh, overall, like, about what, where I believe Minecraft is heading currently and, and how I feel about it. And also, I want to see, can you... You cannot go through those. That's excellent. That was my main concern to make sure uh, monsters couldn't just, like, walk into my area um and overall uh the, the the biggest change has been dinner bone working really hard on the game and he's been listening a lot to the community and that's a good thing it's a very good thing like there's been a lot of really cool uh, uh user suggested things that have gone in the game uh ever since uh, our friend Dinnerbone became part of the the minecraft development team and uh, i think that's a really good thing but at the same time, I feel like it's getting to the point where sometimes we're getting a little ridiculous and we need to be a little bit careful um, that we're not abusing this this newfound community edition almost um, with Dinnerbone. Because right now I am unsatisfied with some of the things in the game. For example, skeletons. Um, I know this has been something that's been debated on over and over and over again and it's not looking like it's going to change. Um, but I'm unhappy with the skeletons the way they are, and I'm unhappy that we're going to have to I'm going to have to deal with the way that they are forever, um, because right now you have to be a very very skilled player. You have to be like you know, uh, hold on, minimize something. Um, you have to be having a chanted armor, or you have to be at a higher level to make these skeletons like not as damaging and. Um, I, I don't uh, diss them for making UHC mode, or rather, no regen mode. Um, I personally am not a fan of it, because I, I, I'm, I like to do things, and I don't like to have to die over and over and over again. Here's my 36 deaths, take a look. Um, so yeah, I'm not a fan of that, but ooh, let's see, look at this, you can't escape through there. Let me take a look on how this looks from the outside, now we put in a couple. Oh yeah, look at this. This looks nice. I love like the when when it comes it becomes a column cuz you can actually see through it a little bit, but you're actually not able to enter it and it's going to keep monsters out. That's actually pretty darn uh, good looking, I'd have to say. Um Anyways, uh so yeah, overall I I'm feeling like right now where Minecraft is going is good with with the the addition of more community uh, related features. Like I have I have dinner bone um, in easy contact. Like, if I wanted to, I can get a hold of Dinnerbone and I can talk to him about something. Um, and that's really good, and that's really cool that um, Let's Players are being included more inside the development process as well, because um, a large portion of Minecraft's growth can be accredited to um, the popularity of the game through YouTube and other um, such, you know, streaming websites as well as, you know, Twitch and all that. Um, so I'm really glad that Minecraft is, you know, being able to take that and, you know, listen to the community and see who are the people who are driving the sales currently and and, and also did in the past uh, sell these copies of the game, essentially. Um, and I'm really glad because, like, we're seeing horses, we're seeing new redstone mechanics, we're seeing um, uh, changes to the enemy AI and, of course, uh, to the biomes, which I talked about two days ago. Um, it's all really great. I think that they're um, really getting some good stuff. Um, I think that we just have to be careful, though, with this newfound goodness that we have to not take advantage of it and not make the game stupid and uh, like or stupid hard or stupid easy. We need to make sure that we keep the balance that uh, I feel like the Minecraft at launch, well, 1.0, it had a very good balance and I was really happy with it. But uh, slowly it's been getting more towards a unbalance that I'm not favorable of. But that's only me. That's only my feelings, of course, towards it. Um, anyway, let's. Uh, I want to quickly uh, let you guys know that uh, on tomorrow's episode, we're actually going to be working on a gate uh, to enter the town. I don't know where I'm going to put the gate yet, but I'm going to first finish up the wall. 
I think the wall needs to be patched up before we get into that at all. Um, overall, I hope you guys have been enjoying the new Good Morning Mindcrack um, format. Um, all the episodes are recorded uh, on one one day a week, um, so I'm doing like the entire project on one day in, in real time, and so I'm not able to read your uh, like. I'll be able to respond to your guys' criticisms of the first week here of Good Morning Mindcrack uh, next Sunday, or, or the coming Sunday, rather. So uh, I look forward to hearing what you guys have been saying. Um, as always, uh, be sure to submit a picture of the day, and go over to the first link in the description and read more about my feelings towards Minecraft, and a little bit more specifically towards Dinnerbone, um, as we've been getting into this new uh, entire like life cycle, essentially, of Minecraft. Um, thank you all for watching. Be sure to follow on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And I will talk to you guys next time. Good morning, Minecraft. I forgot to say that. It's alright, though. <laughs> Baby. <laughs>